Welcome back to another free code camp. Um, I'm doing search and replace this time, and this is part of the JavaScript algorithms and data structures, and we're now on the intermediate algorithms. So perform a search and replace on the sentence using the arguments provided and return a new sentence. So we've got a sentence here or str string. Um, sorry, up to this point, we've then got a before word and an afterword. And so the first argument is the sentence to perform the search and replace on. So that's this one. Second argument is the word you will be replacing, which is before. And we can see that in the sentence here. And then we are replacing it with the third argument, um, which is called after um, sort of the, the argument that's been passed in. So I guess the little gotcha is that we need to preserve the case of the first character in the original word. Um, so that if you're replacing, for example, the word book with the word dog, as you can see here, book with a capital B, dog with a lowercase, um, it should be replaced as capital D for dog. Um, so here, because there's no difference in casing it, or well, they're both lowercase, they just be switched out um, as they are and replaced. Um, but if this was jumped, the um, word would come in as leaped, but over here we'd have to have leaped, like so. Uh, so let me just reverse those. Cool. So with the um, sort of string, we can actually use a, a built-in method um, called replace. And it almost feels like a little bit of cheating, but we just replace before with after. And what that will do is we'll go through the string, find this word, so before, and replace it with after, the other word. Um, and you can see here, if I console.log um, and just wrap that around this, we can see the output to the console, if I move it over, is a quick brown fox leaped over the lazy dog. So we can see here we're replacing jumped with leaped. Um, so pretty simple. Um, but because we've got to, I guess, consider the first character um, casing, there's a few other bits that we might need to do first. So. Um, I guess one way of doing this is basically just checking if the before first character is uppercase or lowercase and then changing after based on that. Um, so that's what I'll do here and sort of the, I guess the easiest solution I found. Um, there's, you know, probably a few different ways to do this, but um, what we can do is we'll just do if and we'll do before at position zero. Does that equal before at position zero dot two? to upper case, okay? And we're just checking if the, um, so, uh, just, yeah, if before at position zero, so the first character, if that is uppercase. Um, and I'm just gonna console.log true here, and we can see it isn't. Um, and then if it's not, which I guess it is in this case, we can see here that that then runs. Um, so if, if it's not uppercase, then obviously it's lowercase, and that's why it's, it's returning true. But we'll do this one first, and um, we'll open up the spacing here. And if that is the case, we basically want to set after um, to equal after, um, was it at position 0 0.2 uppercase, so to match the before casing, um, plus after dot slice, and that would just be 1. Um, so because essentially what we're doing here is we are taking after, so this word at position zero, we're changing it to uppercase and then we're slicing um, the string again, so the whole thing, but we're slicing at position one, so we're actually taking it from here, sorry, here onwards, so eeped, um, and it will basically, that will then output in this example, um, if let's say J was capitalized, it would output leaped like so. Um, so that's what it's doing here. But of course, we then also need to um, consider the lowercase. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste um, this code snippet here. And if just put that to lowercase. And then we also just want this as well. So we'll open up the, the braces here, put that in, and that will be two. And actually, I'll just do this lowercase. And we're still basically using after in, in the same um, replace statement, but at this point we're mutating it um, based on if it's uppercase or lowercase um, for the, the word that's been passed in. And if I hit enter, we should be all good on that. So yeah, 
that's quite a quick one here. Um, obviously, it would be a one-liner if there wasn't this prerequisite to preserve the casing, but here's the, I guess, the simplest way that I found how we can do this um, to cover both uppercase and lowercase. But yeah, let me know if you sort of have a simpler solution. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.